Hi everyone, today we are exploring the sensorial area and we are going to be touching on the tactile materials. Now, I have chosen to show you today the material called the stereognostic bags or the mystery bags. Now, why I've chosen this material for you is because I think you can put this easily together at home. You do not have to go out and buy any material. And also, it's super fun for you to connect with your child. Let me first introduce you to the material, okay? We have these two bags, all right, with a bit of a long chain, long rope, so that we can wear it around our necks, okay, like so. And inside, we have these small wooden geometrical solids, okay? There are different solids in here, and as you will see in the presentation coming up, we feel and we match. We are refining the child's stereognostic sense, their sense of feeling and guessing without actually seeing. So have a look and I hope you enjoy this presentation. Hi Anna. Hi. Today we're going to play with the mystery bags. Would you like to play with me? Yeah. We're going to feel and we're going to do some guessing. Now I have two bags here. One is for you. Do you want to choose whichever one you want? Okay, so we're going to take this, okay, and put it around our neck. Okay, yeah. All right, now I'm going to choose one of the pieces, okay, from my bag, and I'll place it on the mat, and then you have to feel and find the same one, okay? Okay, let's put it here so it's side by side. Can I continue? Do you want to feel this first? Maybe it'll help you. try and feel okay how good is your sense oh there you go see not so hard can you put it here all right this one's an easy one okay mm -hmm, I know you did there you go do you want to put it here how about this shall we put it here I think this might be a bit harder. And the last one. The last one, I think. Anything left in your bag? Did we match it all correctly? Yes. Okay, so anytime you want to play this again, you can play with a friend or you can ask me and I'll play with you. Okay? Would you like to help me to tidy up? You can take your set and I'll take mine. Okay? I like to take this. Okay. Like I said, you do not have to buy this material. We all have little boxes or little pouches at home that we can make do. Or some of you I know are very, very crafty. You could probably make this yourself, even maybe something prettier. Now, inside it, you do not have to have these very geometric solids. You can use things you find around the house. Maybe two bottle caps, maybe two magnets, maybe two buttons, anything that you find around the house. You can make the bags according to what's available to you. So it's inexpensive and quick to put together. Here's another idea. If you want to up the challenge a bit and play it with an older child, why not choose one item but of different styles? For example, choose buttons, but buttons of different sizes, buttons of different shapes and styles. So it becomes quite challenging for the child because all that's in there are buttons and it makes it harder for them and it refines their stereognostic sense even further. What's more fun? You can even let your child help you to put this material together. What would they like to put inside the bag? What would they find interesting? You can make it thematic. Perhaps your child is into cars. 
perhaps they enter transportation. So you can get pairs of cars, pairs of trucks, pairs of helicopters and put that inside these bags. So you're tapping into your child's interest. Maybe you could even take it into a very natural path and go on a nature walk and find pairs of things in nature, two pebbles that are very similar, two leaves, two twigs, and make it out of things that are found in nature. There are so many different avenues you can explore. It just depends on how creative you want to get. How about those of you who have little girls at home and they have boxes full of buckles, right? Buckles and hair ties and we have loads and loads of them. Those can be put into pairs and made into mystery bags. I hope this has given you some ideas to get started and I honestly hope you will try this out yourself and you'll have fun with your child. I promise you it is an enjoyable activity. So please keep coming back, subscribe to our channel and like this video and until we meet again have a beautiful day